Pablo Neruda, the Chilean poet, during his stay in Florence in 1952, met the mayor of the city in Palazzo Vecchio. This poem, unpublished, was read in the Old Palace in March 2004, during the celebrations of the centennial of Neruda's birth. The City When in Palazzo Vecchio, as beautiful as a stone agave, I walked up the worn steps. I walked through the ancient rooms and a worker, chief of the city, of the old river, of the houses cut out as in moonstone, came out to receive me. I was not surprised. The majesty of the people ruled. And I looked behind its mouth at the shimmering threads of tapestry, the paintings that from these contorted rows have come to show the utmost beauty to all the world's roads. The endless waterfall that the slim Florentine poet left in perpetual fall without possibility for it to die. Because of red fire and green water are his syllables made. All behind his worker's head did I guess but it was not behind him the aureole of the past to mark its splendor. It was the simplicity of the present. Like a man, from the loom or from the plough, from the dark factory, he went up the stairs with his people and in the old palace without silk nor soul. The people, the same who came with me across the coldness of the Indian cordilleras were there. Suddenly, behind his head, I saw the snow, the great trees which on the rise merged, and here, again on the earth, he welcomed me with a smile and gave me his hand, the same that showed to me the way over there, far in the ferruginous hostile cordilleras that I won. And here it was not the stone converted in a miracle, converted to the generating light, nor it was the beneficent blue of the picture, nor all the voices of the river who gave me the citizenship of the old city of stone and silver. But it was a worker, a man, like all the men. For this I trust in any night of the day, and if I am thirsty, I trust in water, because I trust in men. I believe we are rising the last step. From there we shall see the truth shared, the simplicity established on the earth, the bread and the wine for all.